Thanks for joining me today. I'm doing Miss USA 2013's makeup tutorial today. It is Nina DeBullery. I think that's how you say her name. She is this year's Miss um, USA and I loved her makeup. I didn't actually watch the pageant so I don't have much to say on that front but I was looking up her makeup. I've done a few other pageant inspired looks so that's something that I really enjoy doing. That's kind of how I got my start in this industry. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I am going to voice over the rest of it so you guys can just quickly see what I'm doing. It's actually not that hard. And I am using a few new products such as the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. So if you guys want to see this look, then keep watching. Thank you. All that I've gone ahead and done right now is that I've used my Prep and Prime all over my face, which is a face protect protection massage, SPF 50. I have put on my Urban Decay Priming Potion on top of my eyelid. And I've used my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Dark Peach, which is this right here just on the inner corner of my eye. I didn't really want to waste time doing all those steps right now, but now I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and show you how to do the rest of the eyes and full face. So we're going to go ahead and lay down a dark shiny base. This is Avenue uh, Fluid Line by MAC, but I'm using it kind of like a paint pot, just using it all over the lid. And you can be really messy with this. It really doesn't matter. I'm just putting this all over just with my ring finger and we're going to use that as a base for the other eyeshadows to show up better and truer against this. I'm going to go in with Carbon um, Black Eyeshadow by MAC. It really doesn't matter. You can use any black that you want. And I'm just going to start with a crease. So I'm putting that into the crease, kind of blending out. And I'm only focusing on this. Again, you don't have to be super, super neat or precise with this. What I noticed with Nina's eyes is that she didn't have a very cut, um, cut crease or a very defined crease either. So you can be messy with this for sure is just to kind of darken it up and intensify it. You want to start working it upwards and outwards as well. We're building again, just adding some more black here. And you're going to keep on doing that until you get the color that you want. Then we're going in with a gold color here from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. I believe it's called Strike. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the inner one third of my eye. And I also want to kind of put it into my, um, my tear duct area. The brush that I'm using is also in the Vice 2 palette. But you can use any substitutions for colors. It's not about the exact products that I'm using for sure. Then I'm going back in with the green color from the Vice 2 palette. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's just a dark green. I mean, anything that, would ha that has a little bit of shimmer or glitter will do. And I'm putting that right in the middle um, part of my eye to marry the other two colors. Then I'm going in with Rice Paper Eyeshadow by MAC. This is a total must-have, you guys. If you don't have it, you should definitely get it. It's a great, great highlight color. Putting that on the brow bone. And I'm kind of making it a thick highlight for sure. I'm using the MAC. I think it's the 152 or 252 brush. And I'm going with a clean 224, just blending all the colors together so as to remove some of the harshness of the highlight. Again, I'm going in, adding some more carbon into the, um, the outer corner. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on some black eyeliner. What I noticed with her look is that the inner corner of the eyeliner is really thin. As we get to the outside, it becomes a little bit thicker, but it's not a cat eye, it's not winged or anything. It just becomes a tad bit thicker. And it also looks thicker because in the pictures, she's definitely wearing fake eyelashes, which I'm not going to be doing here, but you can definitely add to intensify the look. So if you notice, I'm going up a tiny bit, making it thicker, but it's not something that um, has a defined sort of line or anything like that. Then I'm going in with a black eyeliner. This is Zero by Urban Decay as well. I'm going to go ahead and smudge out that black eyeliner. And then I'm going to grab a brush and just kind of work to smudge it out again, just to kind of soften it a little bit. It doesn't look like she has a defined black line. So that's what we're trying to get away from. So I'm just smudging it outward. Then I'm also going to go ahead and line my waterline with the same eyeliner. You can use any black, just make sure it doesn't smudge. Then I'm going back in, it looks like, and I'm adding some more gold in the inner one-third. Then grab your favorite under-eye concealer, something that's a little bit lighter. This is NW35 by MAC. It's the Pro Longwear. I love this formula. I'm going to go ahead and put it on pretty generously in my under-eye. This is pageant makeup again, so it's going to be a little bit more than what you would normally wear. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it upward. It's going to kind of look like a white stripe for right now, but when we put on foundation and stuff, it'll blend together. Then this is essential if you have discoloration. I'm going to go ahead and take an orange corrector by Makeup Forever. It is a flash pot palette um, color. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on areas that are sort of darker so they don't turn gray when I put on foundation. This is a good, good product to have. You can do a lipstick as well, a blush, like something that's just orange or pink in color. Both will work. I just happen to see the orange faster in my kit, so that's what I'm using. But I have a pink like this as well. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and grab some foundation. This is the Studio Fix NC44 by MAC. I'm going for this one only because it is matte and for stage performances and stuff you want to kind of stay away from heavy glitter or shimmer or stuff like that because this will also tend to last longer throughout um, heavy lights, filming, stuff like that that stage performances are known for. So I'm using a Sigma brush, I think it's the 180 flat top kabuki and I'm just going to go ahead and buff this on. The Studio Fix can kind of look chalky when you first put it on. It definitely has to work into the skin and I always say foundation doesn't look 100% until about 30 minutes after application. So it is going to look a little bit gray and I have noticed that while filming. But it looked normal in real life and after a little while it really settles into your skin. So I'm putting this all over. I'm being generous because again I'm thinking from the perspective of like pageant makeup, hot lights, it needs to look, you know, really done up. So I have that all over my skin and then I'm going to go in and powder. So now I'm going to go ahead and go use a concealer just to hide any other issues that I might have going on. That is the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC NC42. Just a synthetic brush by Sigma. And I'm just going in to spot, cover, or conceal any area that I think um, I want to. You can skip the step if you don't have any problem areas. And then I'm going to get concealer. This radiant concealer, this is essential. If you're doing a pageant look, something for photography, something for stage, you really want to have great highlights and contours. So I'm using the color, um, I think it's ginger. And I'm just adding that under my eye area. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a 130 by MAC just to get a really, really pretty highlighted look under. But with the foundation or concealer, it kind of makes it look more natural. Now I'm going to go ahead and powder my face. I waited because you also want the foundation concealer to kind of set in for a few minutes as well. That is a translucent powder by MAC. It's the loose version. You also get a pressed version. It's the absolute best if you have oily skin. I haven't used a powder even up to now that is any better. But I'm only doing the under eye area, nose, T-zone. Um, I'm not going too crazy with the powder because I don't want to look crazy either. Then I'm using NARS Casino Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze the tops of my face. I noticed in her look that I couldn't really see a strong contour or strong bronzing in action or anything like that. I just want to look like I have some depth to my face because sometimes foundation can kind of even out everything too much. So that's why I'm doing this step. I'm just going the normal three pattern, going very lightly. If you're noticing, I'm also using a bigger brush than I normally do just to get a more natural sort of finish. I don't want to draw attention to the contour, I just wanted to look like, oh, you know, she looks like a normal person, she has depth to her skin. And then I'm just going to go in with a peachy blush, this one's my Inglot, I don't remember the actual name, but just something that has a tad bit of shimmer, and that will kind of liven up your skin tone. Definitely go with a peach though. I think Melba would be a good one for MAC, I know that one's matte, but if you put on a highlight on top that should work as well, or is it called Peachy Keen or Peaches or something like that, that's a nice one too. And I'm doing a stippling brush only because that way, just in case I picked up too much product, it wouldn't look, you know, too much. And then again, because this is pageant makeup, I'm going in with another highlight. This is Light Sweep by MAC. It's a pro product. It's a sculpting powder. And I'm just going over top the concealer that I put on earlier. And this is, it has just the most radiant finish. It's beautiful without having chunks of glitter. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using Michael Marcus's um, brow pencil. It's in the color brunette. I'm just quickly brushing out my eyebrows and then I'm going to go ahead and put some of it on. So what we're going to do is that for Nina's look, the front of her eyebrows, um, the part closest to the nose, is really thick and I naturally don't have thick eyebrows. So you're going to draw that in in a point going downwards and you definitely want to make that darker as well. Hers weren't too, too dark so we're not going to make it that way but I definitely have to thicken it up a little bit. So you're going to go downward in the shape of your nose and you're going to make it look as natural as you possibly can. So. I haven't made it nearly as thick as I should have, only because I wanted it to fit my face. And the rest of her eyebrows are not arched, so I didn't like accentuate the arch that I have. I actually just made it look normal. Then I'm going to use a dark brown lip liner by MAC called Barbecue. It's been discontinued, but cork will, will work as well or any other brown that you have. And I'm just going to go ahead and define my lips a little bit. And then I'm using Touch also by MAC, which is a lipstick. And it's kind of like a darker nude, so it's good for people who have two-toned lips or people who are just darker in general. This won't be a nude for somebody who is light, um, lighter skinned. But now I'm going to use um, Giella's I Am Glam, or no, I think it's called Lip Glam. 
and it's just a lip gloss. It's by Mario Dadovanovic, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my lips to kind of give it a peachy look. Then we're going to go ahead and curl our eyelashes with an old eyelash curler that I have. Use my favorite mascara, Smoky Lash by Makeup Forever. And you guys know how to do that. Like, of course, curl your lashes, put on some mascara. This is definitely the darkest, best mascara I've ever used. You guys should check it out. It's amazing. Then you're also going to get your bottom lashes. And of course, like if you're really going out in town, use some fake lashes for sure. Then just to make sure it all stays on and looks really good for stage and everything, I'm using the Scandinavia No More Shine Makeup Finish. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, post down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Also, I really want to talk about like makeup products, beauty products that are new because I kind of stopped buying makeup for a while, not because of Project 10 Pan or anything like that, but I just hadn't really found products that I wanted to buy. But recently, I'm getting back into buying some more products, and I really want to get some great products. So if you guys know of really great foundations, setting sprays, lipsticks, anything, then post down below. I definitely want to check out some new things and then do product reviews for you guys as well. Thanks!